Hey guys, Timmy here, and about 31 years ago, in 1983, here in North America, there was a video game crash, as you want to see. Basically, like the stock market crashes, there was a video game crash, and just they had record high profits, all like the big game companies at the time, like Atari, they had really huge profits for what they were making, and the next year, it completely dropped, like 97%, it just completely dropped and that was detrimental to the gaming industry at the time and why i'm mentioning this now is because as you can see from the title i think there's going to be another video game crash here in north america maybe around the world i don't know but i have a feeling that right now especially with this uh new generation of consoles and just this whole generation wasn't just really good we're not having any innovation which I think is gonna bring people to not buy games and consoles and video games and just whatever and it's gonna really crash again and probably we might lose out on some really bad things so let me explain the 1983 crash was terrible but I think it's gonna happen again like I said and one of the big thing is people are not pre-ordering games anymore because we know how bad certain games were. I believe it was Advanced Warfare, yep, yeah, uh, Advanced Warfare, they just released some like numbers or I think Amazon released numbers saying like they only had like a quarter of the pre-orders that they wanted right now for the game. Like they only, like the expected pre-orders they wanted to have for the game, they only had like a quarter of it which is surprising and it really shows that people are fed up with bad games and basically rehashes the same thing yes advanced warfare some people like the look of it i personally think it looks all right but considering how i felt about the ghosts reveal to how i think about ghosts now i'm wary of advanced warfare and i'm not sure if it's going to be good or not and many people probably think the same they probably bought a ps4 and xbox one to play ghosts or whatever they thought it'd be different and it'll look much better look so much more better than the last generation of consoles but to see it's really not and it's really the same game and they have the same things we have this new thing with con these new next gen consoles and this is one of the biggest things my biggest gripes is these this whole remastered kind of deal like remastered games it's pretty much a wash and it's just i just really just think it's really detrimental to the gaming industry we have say games like tomb raider which was remastered and when it the definitive edition which went from xbox to uh, xbox 360 and ps3 to ps4 and xbox one and saying that's the definitive edition when the pc already looked the best and i'm not it's not a pc is the best uh, video. I mean, I've already did that last week, but bringing that in and saying like have, basically having people play the same game again and with The Last of Us, I understand like it's a uh, Sony exclusive, but we have the same thing over again. I mean, uh, Metro, Metro Last Light, Metro 2033, I think they're doing a pretty good idea with that. I mean, the Metro 2033, I believe, had like a worse game engine and like the graphics weren't as good so they use the last light engine in it and it supposedly looks really good so that's kind of a remastered thing that's good and what what's actually pretty good what they're doing and they have a promotion on steam i'm not pretty sure the consoles don't have it but they have a promotion on steam that if you actually own the game if you own like the metro 2033 you can get the remaster version or the redux i forgot whatever they call it and you actually get it for half off which is pretty nice of them definitely it's a really good thing but to think like say metro last light remastering it i mean metro metro last light was one of the best looking pc games i've ever seen i'm not even lying like it is probably the one of the best looking and i had and i have a medium rig like it's not my rig's not even that good and the, the look of the game it's just it's amazing to think that they could remaster it and resell it it just it doesn't make sense because it's like how much better can you improve i mean there's not really much technology you can improve on and this whole remastering thing it just it doesn't make sense for like a lot of games i mean some games for example gta 5 i know they're doing the remastering for the next gen consoles but 
then again, I think GTA 5 was released really late. It was released like September when the next-gen consoles were released in like November. So I think they could have waited, but I think they just wanted more sales. But it's coming to PC, so that's pretty good too. But the last thing that I think is a really huge killer is exclusivity. And the big thing is, and if you know what I'm talking about, you're mad about, about this too. The Rise of the Tomb Raider game being an Xbox One timed exclusive still... It just it boggles my mind. Microsoft can't just improve their console enough, and they know their console is selling bad, so they have to restrict a game that's loved by many. I mean, Tomb Raider was a really just really good game. A lot of people love Tomb Raider, the Tomb Raider series, and to have the next sequel just be locked down to Xbox One is just absolutely terrible, and it's really going to make people who want to play the game just ignore it. I mean, most people are going to completely forget about it now. But that's the big thing. That's why I think a game market crash might happen again because people are not going to pre-order their games anymore, which I think is a smart idea in my opinion because you should really just not pre-order games at all because you don't know it's going to be perfect like when you get it. I mean, yes, you could see a million uh, pre-videos and see who and see other people play it, but you'll never know if it's right for you on that day by pre-ordering it so that's why I think pre-ordering is not even that great I mean some people like you have people who try out the game the like not testers but like say first impression like say Total Biscuit how he gets games like review copies and plays it for us so we could see on like the day of release how the game is and here's like his impressions like EA is not allowing people to get review copies of The Sims 4 just no review copies so you they don't even know if it's gonna be good like you have to buy it on release day to see even if like game testers and reviewers to see if it's good and that's just bad practice and i think like with all these like factors built in people are just gonna be really fed up and stop gonna stop buying like consoles and video games and really there's gonna be a huge crash and i don't know who would survive out of that i mean nintendo still with the whole wii u and the wii u i mean that's their own thing and they're having kind of trouble selling that but i think because the wii u doesn't really have any games to be honest i'm not saying like they have their own nintendo games but they don't have any other companies bringing in games to that i mean it even had advanced warfare is not coming to wii u most games are not coming to wii u and that's a really huge thing for the company to have basically no games so if a crash happens i think it's going to be really bad and tell me what your thoughts about it and if there's a crash like tell me what you think if what would happen if there was a crash who would survive if there was a video game crash of whenever year hopefully it's not super soon so yeah guys hope you enjoyed the video leave a like favorite subscribe you know all that stuff and i'll see you guys next time